Welcome to the Digital Thermometer Basic Overview video. In this video, we will go over the basics of setting up your digital thermometer. The dimensions of the digital thermometer are 10.8 inches by 5.04 inches. On the back of the device is a breakout cable with the following connections. Two USB connectors, an Ethernet connector, relay, Wigand, serial, a covered power button, and a DC barrel connector for power. To get started, you will need a USB mouse. After powering on the device, you will need to connect your USB mouse to either of the two USB connectors on the back of the device. Click the middle mouse button to bring up the application menu. It will prompt you for a password. The default password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then click OK. This brings up a sub-menu with the following options. Login management, application settings, face data entry, application information, pass record, and face database. Login management contains settings to manage the unit using software on the server. This information will be covered in the advanced settings video. Application settings, which will be addressed in more depth later in this video. Face data entry. This is where users can be added to the face database. To add a user, have them walk up to the unit until a blue square appears around their face. Click on collection to snap a picture. Below the capture, there is an ID field along with name and gender. For ID, we are going to enter 0001. Choose your own entry and enter the user's name. Note. If the on-screen keyboard pops up, simply click the right mouse button once to dismiss it. We are going to confirm the gender of the user and then click Save. With the users entered, a picture of their face will now appear when they check in along with their temperature. The kiosk will no longer say Stranger for that user. Application Information Here you can find some useful information about your device, such as system firmware version, camera information, and the MAC address. Pass record. This is where you can view the check-in history of the kiosk. You will be able to see the registered users that have checked in as well as the time and their temperature upon check-in. You can also set a search parameter for desired dates and times and then export this list to a connected USB storage device. Unregistered users or strangers will not be saved in the pass record unless the default changes are saved. Face Database This is where you can view all the registered users along with their name and picture. You can also remove registered users in this menu. From the submenu, we'll be going into the application settings. Please note that while we will be covering the application settings, we will not be giving specific settings that should be applied. In the Application Settings submenu, we have Device Name Setting. By default, the device name is the MAC address. This can be renamed to your desired identification, such as Lobby or West Entrance. Company Name. This will display on the main screen at the bottom along with the MAC and IP address. Click Save to apply the settings. Body Temperature Settings There are several options here that you can change. The first setting is Body Temperature Chest. Turning this off will disable the temperature reading upon checking in. The Compensation Temperature is an offset that can be applied to the temperature reading to adjust for surrounding conditions. You can select plus or minus to adjust as needed. We recommend using another thermometer to accurately adjust the compensation setting. Alarm threshold. At this time, this setting can only be set in Celsius. The default setting is 37.3 degrees, which is approximately 99.1 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the temperature that will trigger the alarm to activate if a user checks in whose temperature exceeds this threshold. For the body temperature alarm, changing the setting to off will disable the alarm. This makes it so that the alarm does not go off when their temperature exceeds the threshold. Leaving the setting on will keep the alarm enabled. 
Temperature display allows the displayed temperature upon check-in to be in Celsius or Fahrenheit. There is a fan located at the top of the device located in the rear of the head unit. Changing the fan setting to on will turn on this fan. This will provide cooling to the unit which may be needed in environments that have limited access to climate control. The mask detection setting will enable the application to deny users access if they are not wearing a mask, even if they have a temperature that does not exceed the temperature threshold. While the alarm will not sound, the unit will flash red and politely ask the user to wear a mask. Stranger Mode and Stranger Record Turning Stranger Mode to on will allow strangers to be granted access. Leaving this setting off will deny them access even when all other criteria for entry are met. Enabling Stranger Record will record the check-in time, temperature, and picture taken of the stranger upon check-in. Their information will be saved under past record. Once the desired settings are changed, click on the Save to apply changes. If you wish to change something later, you can always go back and make the appropriate adjustments. Identification Parameter Settings The options listed will be the Test Threshold, Identification Times, and Living Body. The test threshold is used when checking pictures into the FACE database. The higher the value, the lower the picture requirements are needed. The identification times determine the number of attempts to identify whether the person is a registered user. The last setting, living body, can be set to on to enable biometric detection when identifying personnel. Clicking on volume setting in the application setting menu will bring up a volume slider. Moving the slider down will lower the volume of both the alarm and voice feedback. Moving the slider up will raise the volume of these settings. Startup settings. Here are three options. Auto start, application daemon, and application thread daemons. These settings are what sets the application to automatically start upon startup or to start after one minute of being on the Android desktop. You can turn all the settings to off to disable the application from automatically booting. In the Application Information Settings menu is where we can choose to hide or show the blue information bar on the bottom of the main screen. Setting this to hide will no longer display the information bar. Inside the Recognition Effect Display menu, there are three options. Recognition Success, Recognition Failure, and Photo Flood Lamp. Changing Recognition Success to Display Name will no longer show the registered user their picture upon check-in. Changing the Recognition Failure option to turn off the red light will not display a red light when the user fails to check-in, whether they have a temperature that exceeds the threshold or if they are a stranger. Lastly is the photo flood lamp, which refers to the type of light connected to the device. This value will be tricolored light. However, if it were to be changed to monochromatic lamp, then the green and red light will no longer be displayed, disabling the visual cue of a successful or failed check-in. Password setting. This is where you will be able to change the password. For the purposes of this video, we will enter one as the new password in the fields. Choose your own password. Once entered, click Save. This will take you back to the previous menu. Camera Resolution Preview Settings Changing this resolution will change the camera resolution on the home screen. Changing this option to 640 by 480 with the application information hidden will display a gray rectangle at the bottom of the screen, while the 1280 by 720 resolution covers the whole screen. In the lock screen brightness setting, we can tell the application how dim or bright to make the screensaver after the unit times out from inactivity. Raising the contrast setting will make the application brighter, while lowering it decreases the brightness. Restart time setting. By default, the unit is set to automatically restart at 3 a.m. Simply enter the new time in 24-hour format to set a new restart time. If you wish to disable the unit from restarting, you can simply select the Do Not Restart option in this menu. Relay Settings There will be three different modes you can choose from. 
Below these options is the relay delay setting. Using the relay functionality, the unit can be used in conjunction with doors, locks, lights, and other devices. Others is where you'll find the temperature hardware version and callback settings which are disabled on the current firmware. Application initialization. Clicking on this setting will give you the option to reinitialize the application. Doing so will delete all user data, including the face database, and reset all settings back to their default values. Now that we have all the application settings ready, we will need to access Wi-Fi settings and time zone settings on the Android device. We first need to select startup settings in the application settings submenu. Next, we're going to select off for all three options, auto start, application daemon, and application thread daemons. To exit out of the menus, press the right mouse button. We are going to continue pressing the right mouse button until we are back on the application home screen. Pressing the right mouse button again will bring up a message that says, press back button again to exit the app. We are going to press it again, which will be met with a password prompt. Here, enter in the password we have just changed and press enter. On the Android desktop, click on the gear icon at the bottom middle. This will bring up the setting menu like that on Android mobile devices. At the top, you will find Wi-Fi. Click on it and connect your Wi-Fi network entering the password if prompted. Pressing the right mouse button to go back, we're going to scroll down to date and time. Toward the top, the automatic time zone will be on by default. Let's turn it off. And moving towards the bottom, we're going to click on select time zone. Scroll to find the appropriate time zone for your location and left click to select. With the settings in place, exit back to the Android desktop using the right mouse button. We're going to reopen the application by clicking the small up arrow toward the bottom middle above the gear icon. From here, click on MIPS. With the application rebooted, we are going to turn the auto start settings back on. Press the middle mouse button and then enter the password. Go to startup settings and turn all three settings to on. Press the right mouse button to exit back to the main screen. This concludes a digital thermometer basic overview video. Thanks for watching.